welcome back to my channel. I'm Virginia. Today I have a get ready with me on this beautiful look you guys requested. It was very simple, but you guys wanted to see it, so here it is. So if you want to learn how to recreate this look, then keep on watching. Already primed my skin and I used the Philosophy Hope in a jar. You guys know that this is like my favorite, favorite moisturizer. I like to put it on and just let it sit for a few minutes. And then I'm gonna apply um, a primer. I got a sample uh, from this Master Primer by Giorgio Armani. So far, I tried it yesterday for the first time and I loved it. I was like, what? But this is going to be put to the real test, which is work, just because the lights at work, they make my makeup melt. This is kind of like oil-based, and I don't like putting oil-based stuff on my face just because I'm very oily, but I mean, this yesterday looked beautiful. And you guys see this finger? I smashed my finger yesterday with the door. Like I closed the door and didn't even realize that my finger was between the door and I smashed my finger. My nail broke like up here. It looks pretty nasty and um, I really needed to get my nails done so now I'm gonna have to wait for a little bit so that kinda stops hurting so much because guys, it hurts. I almost cried, like I was in so much pain. I didn't cry just because my makeup looked so pretty yesterday but I wanted to really bad. For oil control, I've been using the Neutrogena Shine Control Primer. I mean, I had this one on my kit for like ever and ever. Then I'm like, well, I'm gonna use it just because it's getting older. And I just love this primer. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my nose. This is like a milk of magnesia in a tube. Like this stuff, it's for real. I love it. And then I'm going to apply Pores No More by Dr. Brand where my pores are bigger than life. To apply my foundation, I haven't been using a brush. I've been using my damp beauty blender and I've been spraying um, Fix Plus on it just to kind of like help it set and it just gives it like a nice, beautiful, natural look. For my foundation, I'm using the Fit Me Matte Poreless and I'm in the shade Warm Honey. I did a review for this foundation. I will leave it down below. This was the foundation for those of you who saw it. This is the foundation that was too dark. Now it just matches perfectly. I just put some in the back of my hand and then he's gonna start applying that. I like to take my time with this method just because I really want to melt the product to the skin. Like if your foundation gets cakey, try it this way. I assure you, it's not gonna look cakey. Now I'm gonna do my brows, and I feel so weird not grabbing my Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade. <gasps> I feel so weird, guys. Right now I'm using the Big Brow Pencil by MAC, and this is in the shade Spiked. My brows look so weird right now. This is how it looks like. It's like a big brow pencil. It's not like the thin one that they have. And in the back it has its sharpener, which I like. I like this product. It's kind of like, it's easy to do your brows if you're in a hurry. And it also acts like a gel, like it keeps my brows in place throughout the day. That's why I go over the hair like a few times. I like to use the NYX in Golden Beige. I think this is a stick foundation, yeah. This is a foundation that I hated, but I ended up using it to clean my brows. And I like to blend this part a little bit. No one likes sandwich brows. Now I'm gonna set under my brows and I'm using the color cream by my Lorac Pro Palette. It's a very neutral shade. Then I like to apply a little bit of white in the corners. Here, a little bit more here. Then I just like to blend that. I'm gonna go with my crease shade and I'm using Velvet Revolver by Too Faced. If you don't know what it looks like, I'm gonna leave my Panda palette down below so you guys can see it. I'm not gonna show you guys just because I might have a little bit of progress on that whole palette. So just check out the video, it's very short. It's like four minutes. I'm just gonna add that on my crease. This look is very soft. I like it because it's easy. You just need to blend. For my lid, I'm gonna prep it and I'm gonna put a little bit of the WhatsApp highlighter in there. I love this cream 
highlighter. It's really nice. But I'm trying to use it up so I feel like every time I use it under my shadows, it just makes the prettiest glowy effect. And I usually like to take it a little bit above my natural lid, kind of like on the crease a little bit. I do that so the color that I'm going to put on top shows more. So on top of that, I'm going to go with Honey Pop. And again, I'm not going to show it to you, but I'm going to leave the other video linked down below so you guys can check it out. And I'm just going to start adding that. And I'm going to take this all the way to my crease. Just a little bit, not too much. I'm going to grab a smaller blending brush and I'm just going to blend the Honey Pop. So that way you guys see more of the eyeshadow, which is like the nice part of the eye look, I feel like. So now it's time for my winged liner, and I'm gonna do a very thin wing, and I'm also going to keep it on the outer part of my eye. Just because my lid is so small, if I cover that with a line, it's just not gonna show as much. Basically, that's all I'm gonna do. It ended right here on this eye, and it ended right here on this eye, not even halfway. So, basically, that's how the wing looks like. Like, if you're in a rush and you wanna do your wing, you can just do that. So, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter right here where the lid is, just to kinda play with the lighting a little bit better. This is Gold by MAC. And it's just basically a gold glitter. This was a limited edition. I don't know if they have one maybe um, in the pro store or something. I'm not sure. So I just sprayed Fix Plus on my makeup tray. And I'm gonna go with my brush. And I'm going to kind of dip it a little bit here. I'm not gonna grab too much, just a little bit. And I'm going to kind of add a little bit. Doesn't have to be too much. I'm gonna try to remove the fallout. I didn't have that much, but I feel like with glitter, it shows anywhere. So I'm gonna go and start highlighting my face. You guys have seen me do this a million times, so I'm probably going to add a little speed. But I do wanna say, this is my H Instant Dark Circle Eraser by Maybelline. My favorite, hands down, concealer. To set underneath my eyes, I'm using my Airspun Powder. I have been loving this powder so much. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of Velvet Revolver underneath my eyes. My lashes are going to be the number 43's by Red Cherries. I don't think these are the same lashes I had on that video, but these ones are so pretty. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Now for bronzing, I'm gonna use my Hoola by Benefit. I've been really liking a very strong contour. With whatever's left, on that brush, I'm just gonna take it on my temples. And I love strobing and all, but there's nothing like a good contour. Woo, I just love it so much. Now, for my blush, I'm gonna use my Golden Fuse by Maybelline. And this is also in one of my project pants. This looks very bronzy, see that? It's so pretty. And then, last but not least, I'm going to highlight. And I'm gonna use Silk Teddy by Too Faced. Again, watch that video. This is an eyeshadow, guys. Like, oh, this is wrong. On that video, I had a very strong highlight, so I'm not gonna be shy today. Kinda like to highlight the bridge of my nose as well. And all we need, guys, is lip color. So on that video, I used the NYX lingerie in the shade Lipley. And it's just like a brown. It kind of got gray on my lips, but it's okay. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!